Reflective products are probably every product photographer's worst nightmare just because they take a little longer to deal with when you're shooting and today I'm going to show you a really cool way and easy way to deal with reflective surfaces. So we're talking about things like this, hair tools where the whole thing is literally reflective and even jewelry, so rings. Now here is the solution. <laughs> so this is called a light cone and it was actually formulated by Carl Taylor and V Flat World and I'm gonna show you how to use this. Now it comes in this really big, nice protective case. There are three sizes, so I'm gonna show you how to put this together. Now this will work for both white backgrounds, so if you're doing like e-commerce photos for like say hair tools for example, um, or if you're doing smaller styled scenes and you wanna shoot, products like this, this is gonna be the perfect thing for you to use to deal with this whole thing. So let's dive into it. So this is what it looks like and you can probably kind of see how it's gonna turn out like a cone. I'm actually so excited for this. So essentially all we do is clip it together like so. And there you have it, that's literally it. And so basically you put your product down, you put that on top and your camera goes in here. But we're gonna get to that in a second. Let's have a look at the other two sizes. So this is quite a small one here. And again, all we do is clip it together like so. So this one will be really good for like any smaller pieces like jewelry, use that one. And then we have this one here. Now you'll notice this has a slightly smaller opening and this is actually if you are taking photos with your mobile phone. So let's put this one together. So you'd pop it over your product like this and then with your mobile phone, you just pop it through that little hole. So you can see that's super small and that will fit nicely with your mobile phone lens. So there are essentially three different versions. So a smaller one and a bigger one if you're using a camera and one for a mobile phone if that's what you're using to take your photos. Now I'm gonna be using these two sizes because I am using a camera and let's get into how to actually utilize these for your product photography. This is gonna make your life so much easier. Okay, so for our first example here, I'm gonna show you how we can deal with the reflections of this aura ring. This is a highly reflective ring, and so I'm gonna show you what to do. Now, my camera is on a tripod here. I'm using a Canon R5 with a 100 mil macro lens. If you're doing anything for jewelry, I highly recommend get a 100 mil macro lens, your jewelry photos are going to look much better. And I've just got it on a tripod, as you can see, so it's nice and close to the product as well. But I'm just gonna use some blue tack. Make sure I'm gonna actually put it in my frame. Some blue tack to keep the ring upright. And I might just have it on a slight angle as well. So I'm just gonna take a photo of this and just show you how shit it looks without any kind of other diffusion. So that is pretty bad. I actually don't mind the lighting. I've got my strobe light on my right hand side here, but we seriously need to deal with those reflections. So let's pop on the light cone. Okay, so now we are gonna pop in the light cone and oh my God, that that looks great. Reflections be dealt with. Oh my gosh. I wish I had this on so many shoots because my life would have been so much easier and I would have been able to shoot so much quicker. Wow, that is amazing. All right, let's take a shot. And as you can see, those reflections are nicely dealt with. All right, so now we're gonna pop in this highly reflective skincare product here, and you can literally see the entire surface of this lid is a mirror. So we're just gonna give that a quick little clean. So obviously any reflective product that you are shooting, have a microfiber cloth, 
Give it a clean before you start shooting. Use gloves. I'm not wearing gloves because I don't have any with me. So we're just gonna roll with it. So we've gotta place that into our scene here. Now you just gotta get your camera angle right as well. So let's take a shot without the light cone first. Pretty bad. Now I've got two lights going so that I can deal with the reflections nicely because if we have one light on, the other side of the product isn't gonna look the same. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. If we turn off this light, so I'm gonna turn that light off and we're gonna pop the light cone in. All right, so I've got my camera angle pretty good. I can't see any black line in the middle. It's all looking very smooth. I'm gonna take that shot in here. And as you can see on the left hand side of my product, it's just, we need to deal with the left hand side basically in lighting. So I'm gonna turn this strobe light back on. I'm using Godox 8600 Pro lights. And then we're gonna take the shot again. And you can see now we've got a really nice gradient on the product that looks very high end and that was just so easy. All I had to do was pop a light cone there. So I've shown you how to do it on a simple white background, but what if you wanted to shoot something like this from a front on angle? So I'll show you how you can use a light cone to shoot these kinds of products front on. I'm gonna be using a colored background, so I'm gonna whack that up first. So I'm just using a C stand here with some clamps to hold this up. So the next thing I wanna do is basically style this scene. So I'm gonna grab a couple blocks and put my product on there. All right, so for this scene, we are going to do a hero shot. So it's a very minimalist styled scene, which is very much my personal style. I've got this big block here from Propsyland. I'm gonna just pop that here. My product is gonna go right on the edge and my camera is at a very low angle. So I'm gonna be looking up at the product, making it look like a hero. Now we've got our big light cone here and essentially what we're gonna do, we're not gonna be doing this because obviously the camera is gonna be blocked. So we are going to be doing something like this and putting it over the lens. So kind of like a little canopy here. And then we're gonna push the block back into the cone. All right, so we're just gonna position this up. Now this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna put up my backdrop a little bit more. Now I'm gonna need to add another light onto the right hand side of my scene to deal with the lighting on the right hand side. So I'm going to do that. All right, so I'm gonna place my light, I think about here. And again, I'm just gonna wedge my product in a little bit more because I need it to cover the whole surface with the cone. All right, let's have a look. That is looking pretty good. All right, so we've brought in another light so we can deal with the right side of the reflection so it's really nice and even around the whole surface of the lid. I'm gonna take that shot. So that's looking pretty darn good. It's got a really beautiful gradient on the reflective surface of the lid. And I think my hero shot is pretty much done. So these kinds of shots are really good for any like social media posts, website as well. Just grab a colored block, colored background. And if you've got a reflective surface like this, this kind of setup here is gonna be really great and make your life so much easier. So here you can see the difference. The image on the left is with no light cone. The product looks pretty terrible. And then the image on the right is with the light cone. So you can see how much of a difference that has made. And I decided to take this photo one step further and do a little bit of Photoshop magic. I took the mint leaves from another photo I'd shot previously for this brand. I changed the color of the block and even added a little bit of a gradient. I put some sparkles in and changed the background as well, gave it an artificial glow and just 
basically made the photo a lot more interesting. So you can really see how much you can level up a photo as well with just taking a basic hero shot like this and creating something really eye catching. And if you want to learn how to Photoshop like this, you'll find all my Photoshop tutorials inside my course, Become a Brand Photographer. I have linked that in the description box below for you. All right, so you have basically seen two different ways that you can use the light cone. One from a top-down angle and one from a lower angle front on. And as you've seen, really highly reflective products it's going to make your life so much easier and quicker because if you're shooting reflective products and you're not creating a really beautiful light gradient on the reflective surface it's going to make the product look cheap and low end and that is not what we want for our clients even if you are a product-based business and you're shooting your own products please deal with your reflections your product is going to look 10 times better especially if you are doing shots for websites so white background images this needs to be dealt with now if you want to go and check out the carl taylor and v flat world light cone i'm going to leave the link in the description box below as well as a little discount code that will give you 10 percent off everything in the v flat world store and don't forget, there is one if you use a mobile phone for your photography. Now, I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and it's given you some confidence to deal with very reflective products. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Let's have a chat. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.